In today's video, I'm going to show you the Keepa app. I'm going to show you the Keepa app uh, while I'm using it on my phone. I'm going to take a screen capture recording of me scanning barcodes and looking at items on Keepa to look at sales rank history, pricing history, uh, and how it'll help you make a smarter sourcing decision with all of that information. So I'm going to give you a little bit of the ins and outs of the Keepa app. Uh, let's just not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. I'm going to show you my screen and me using the Keepa app. All right, here we are on my phone. Here's the Keep app. I just put it on its own page because you don't need to see all my other apps that I use. Uh, let's check out the Keep app live while I am on it. All right, so the first thing that comes up are items that I'm tracking, and I've got it blurred, so you can't see the items that I'm tracking. But this is a really cool thing with Keepa. You can track items on Amazon and be notified of when prices get to a certain place, or sales rank gets to a certain place, or if competitors disappear like Amazon, all sorts of stuff that Keepa can uh, notify you via email and on your phone. Um, but let me just get into actually the use of a Keepa graph while we are you know, right here on our phone. So what we do, there's a little magnifying glass at the bottom. We can hit that search button and I click scan. I'm gonna scan this book's barcode and you can see the books that come up. I'm looking at Atomic Habits, which is a great book in case you are curious. Um, click on the title there and it opens up the Kiba graph and you can look and see uh, some basic information right there on your phone. We've got the green sales rank line. That's only for paid subscribers to the Keepa uh, program, which I highly recommend. Uh, but you also have the new line, which is giving you the new price, uh, the Amazon line and the Amazon shaded area showing you the Amazons in stock, um, and the buy box information. The buy box stuff, again, is also for the paid subscribers. Um, but you have a lot of information that you can mess around and move. Uh, you can change the date of what you are looking at at the graph. You can scroll down and kind of see some more information about the buy box, Amazon's pricing, new third-party sellers, used sellers, um, and some sales rank information, uh, the percentage it is in the particular category that it's in, and uh, the number of drops, the sales averages, lots of information, ranking. So you can definitely see a lot of, of, of stuff to help you make a good sourcing uh, decision. And while scrolling through here, you, know, you can even kind of... Um, play around and, and let's see let's turn off Amazon so I turned off Amazon because I don't want to see that and uh, you can turn on the used price so then the used price will come in so you can play around with that to kind of see Keepa in action while you are out sourcing check new third-party sellers and uh, for FBA new third party for fulfilled by merchant all sorts of fun stuff right here on the screen let's take a look at another item uh, just kind of get a view of what it looks like on a Keepa graph from something that's not a book. All right, so we go back and scan. It scans very, very quickly, as you can see. Uh, now, this is a toy. This is a uh, puzzle, and we can take a look at this toy and the puzzle and kind of get some good information, uh, toys and games category. Um, if you did want to interact with the graph, you can actually click on the graph, and that will load up a screen. You have to look at it sideways, but again, you can interact with this graph Let's turn on the sales rank and take a look at the information. And I want to look at the last month of information. Oh no, I want to look at the last year of the information with this particular item. So you can kind of take a look at and see what's available. Uh, this one, two, three here, you can click on two. Uh, that loads subcategory sales rank information along with the main category sales rank information. And if you click three, you can take a look at uh, the number of competitors. Uh, right now I just have new competitors showing, but it will show you used competitors, uh, the rating and review counts for the, that a particular item. Again, some of these things that you can see come with the paid subscription. Some of them do not. So if you are trying to do this on your own Keepa app, then you will see uh, that there are some things that is not they're not available to you unless you are a paid subscriber. Uh, to be a paid subscriber, you can just go to fulltimefba.com slash Keepa, sign up. It's very, very affordable. So uh, let's go back and see uh, other stuff that we can look at. So one thing that this uh, on the Keepa graph does not do on the app is you can't really, I'm, like I'm using my finger, you can't see my finger, it's just going up and down. I'm trying to like actually look at specific information. Uh, but if you go to click the show on Keepa 
link here at the bottom. It will open up into your particular browser and will load up there and you can see for yourself and you can actually put your finger down and zoom and you know scroll and kind of see the information for this particular product in person um, and also gain access to other information like actually tracking the product um, and other stuff available there and then when you're ready you can just kind of go back to the Keepa app to uh, do things on the Keepa app that you would, are wanting to do now like I said before I track a lot of items it's awesome uh, here's a link right at the bottom if you want to track this item maybe it's not profitable right now but you want to track it and be notified when it becomes profitable or maybe there's a lot of competition and you want to track it once the competition kind of dwindles down you can click on the track product link and do it right there from your phone so keep is awesome i love doing it on my desktop with the keep extension uh fulltimefba.com slash keep extension but it's also really amazing on the app uh, trying to do things the app is limited you know there's a whole lot more that you can do actually either on your phone in the browser uh, at keepa.com or uh, on a extension uh keep extension on a desktop but it gives you really good information to make smarter sourcing decisions so that's the keep app it's a free download in your app store on your phone um again keepa does have a free program and a paid program um the free, the free program is a very limited information the paid opens up so much more information for you to make better and smarter sourcing decisions uh, to learn more about the, the paid program, you go to fulltimefba.com slash Keepa. You can sign up for Keepa, start using it. It is amazing uh, how it helps you. Now, if you're looking at that graph and you're like, you know, that Keepa graph that you're looking at, what does all that information mean? I have a quick tutorial, like a Keepa 101 video to help you walk you through how to understand that Keepa graph, the basics. You can find that at fulltimefba.com slash read Keepa. Um, but the main thing I want to tell you right now is that Keepa is amazing. And we've put together a course showing you every little thing, the ins and outs of Keepa, how to use it to make smarter sourcing decisions uh, today, how to use it to know how deep to go on a purchase, how to know what inventory items to buy, which ones to pass. Uh, you'll make better sourcing decisions. You will make less sourcing mistakes. And you'll be able to find more inventory that holds the higher price that you expect it to sell for. You'll be able to know which inventory sells quickly. You'll be able to know ahead of time what an item is gonna be priced during Q4 what an item is going to be priced at during the summer, what the sales velocity is, how fast it's selling during different times of year. All that information helps you sell your items better. It helps you source the right items and, and grow a more successfully sustainable Amazon business. I would not do Amazon selling at all without Keepa. And Keepa is awesome. It helps me so much every single day when I'm sourcing. I do not make a sourcing decision without Keepa. And we put together a course. The course's price is about to go up because I just realized, man, this course is so awesome. We keep adding to it. We haven't increased the price in a long time. So fulltimefba.com slash Keepa course is to learn more about the course. The price is going to be going up soon. So be sure you take advantage of that. Uh, this course walks you through so much to I mean, it, it, this skill of learning how to look at a Keepa graph, it takes some time to learn. There's a learning curve. I want to shorten that learning curve and help you fast track your, uh, you know, your, your path to success so that you can just like take a, take a quick glance at a Keepa graph and in like two or three seconds know exactly, hey, this is something I'm going to buy today and it's going to sell really great uh, two weeks from now. Or this is something I'm going to buy today and I'm going to hold on to it for about like, three months and it's going to sell even better in three months. Or this is an item that looks like it's profitable right now, but guess what? In about three weeks, it's not going to be profitable anymore, and that's just too too soon for me. You can take a look at the future by looking at the past pricing history, sales rank history of items on Amazon, and just have more confidence in your sourcing with the Keepa course. FullTimeFBA.com slash Keepa course. Uh, price is going up soon, so be sure to check it out today. That's it for today. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.